Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Dylan, um, and I'm just here to kind of help the little guy out a little bit. So a lot of people have had problems with using Origin to download their games to get a little prompt, and I'll put a little picture up on the screen right here. Um, and you, you get this message, and pretty much it is asking you for permission to download certain games and stuff like uh, The Sims uh, or some, something like that. But um, anyway, you're not ever given the prompt to give it permission and so it prevents you from downloading the game and all that stuff. Well, today I'm going to show you guys a little uh, trick that I found on Reddit uh, that helps fix this problem and allows you to download your games with no huss or fuss. And this is for Mac users primarily. There's a bunch of different uh, videos and stuff out there for Windows users, but there's really none for Mac users. So Mac users, this one's for you guys. Um, if you like the video or if you find it helpful, uh, please leave a like, greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so the first thing uh, that you're gonna need to do is you need to get a specific tool. So uh, this this tool is called the Reset Origin Tool. So let's go to Google and or wherever, whatever you use pretty much, and just type in Reset Origin Tool. Once you click, once you type all that in, you should be given uh, some options here. Uh, this is from helpea.com, so this is from EA themselves, so it's very legit. Um, and let me just kind of explain what happens. So, um, you know, there, there, there are ways, quote unquote, ways to fix the prompt, um, pretty much fix the download. Um, that doesn't really work. EA will tell you to just delete Origin Client, pretty much the Origin app on your computer and re-download it, but that doesn't really work. So with Mac, um, it doesn't really reset Origin when you delete the software. If you delete the software, you're just deleting the software, but the programs and stuff are still, like the folders and stuff for that software are still on the Mac. And so it's like you delete it and you re-download it and it's like you never left and you still have the same problems. With this tool, however, the reset uh, origin tool, it completely resets all your files, all your folders, and pretty much it's like you're opening origin client, the software for the very first time, like you just downloaded it for the very first time, completely resets everything. Um, and that's what this calls for. So once you get on this screen, it says how to reset origin on Mac, you'll click right here, there should be like a show more, and it should give you all these directions right here on how to do it. Um, the very first step, it is, it's going to ask you to reset origin, to download the reset origin tool. You just click on that, it'll start downloading and everything. Um, I've already done it and it works very well, which is awesome. Um, once you do that, just follow the steps here. Um, pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Finder, your Finder right here and you're gonna look for a reset origin tool right here. You're gonna double click on that. Once you double click on that, it's, it's gonna give you this screen right here. It's gonna ask you if you really want to reset origin. Just click reset origin. Type in your, type in your uh, administrator password, hit okay. And once you do that, your reset's all done. And then you just hit okay to exit the tool. After that, then you need to go back to origin.com, and there's a link right here that you can click on to download it, um, but just re-download origin from uh, origin.com and download the latest version. And once you do that, you're gonna open up origin, and um, it's gonna give you all the prompts, all the everything that you need in terms of setting up origin like you did the very first time. And uh, once that's all set up and you sign in and everything, then you're gonna go and click on the game that you want to download and start downloading. And here's proof that it worked. Um, it's allowing me to play The Sims 4, for example. And this is the one that I had a lot of trouble with. 
so as you can tell it started up it's ready to go um so yeah that's how you fix this problem guys um i i, I again i just got very lucky uh, in terms of uh, finding the solution i'm very thankful that i did um i definitely found a great solution um that works that it explains very well how to do it um, if this doesn't work for you, um, then you have a couple of other, a couple of other options. Uh, that being, just don't use Origin. You know, use something different. Get get you a Windows PC <laughs> if you really want to spend the money and uh, buy the game through Steam or something like that, or just get the game or get Origin through Windows or whatever. Uh, another option is you can use Boot Camp if you have the memory space for it. You can use Boot Camp. Um, to run Windows on your Mac and just download the Windows version of Origin and play the game that way. Um, and there's a bunch of other videos out there that explains how to do all that stuff, so I'm not going to go into that for this video. But yeah, that's the solution, and as you can tell, it works great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, if you if you found found it very helpful, leave a like, and uh, yeah. Good luck. Hope you uh, hope this helps.